busy race here at Monza. They got underway. Josh Mason obviously leading them off as well, but alongside him, he had Freddie Lubin to join him. Goethe in third as well. Further back, Lomko had to try and push forward in order to gain some positions. Freddie Lubin locking up, heading in towards turn one, allowing Goethe the challenge to claim that second spot. Further back, though, Simonazzi would bring himself into the fight. Josh Mason still leads, but further on, we saw Lomko then challenge Goethe for second place. Also, Simonazzi bringing himself into the scrap, challenging Freddie Lubin around turn one. We then saw Lomko then get past Josh Mason. These two would duel it out right through the race, with Goethe being relegated down to third place. Once again, into the Roger. Again, it would be Josh Mason to retake the lead, heading through the midway point. But it didn't take long before Goethe got swallowed up as well by Freddie Lubin. He would challenge earlier on in the race, but then tackling the Lesbo corners, a wonderful, stunning display from Freddie Lubin around Lesbo 2 to get the move done, would drop him down into fourth. Then Simonazzi would also challenge Goethe, another sweeping move around Le Lesmo 2, provided the BBM racing driver the opportunity to move up a place too, much to the delight of his pit wall crew. Goethe would once again tie up with Simonazzi as they both tussle down towards turn one and eventually get spun. The Great Dane would not hang on to his track position, but crossing the line, Vladislav Lomko to claim his second win this weekend, and not to mention a brilliant fifth across the season.